What's up, YouTube? It's Yardy. I'm doing that talk story react to another video. We got Adam Sandler is a great storyteller. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow the links in the description. And let's get into it. Growing up, Sue, I was surprised. Sha you know, Shaquille O'Neal yes. in the movie. Yes. And it surprised me because I've met him a bunch of times and he's such a funny guy. And you put him in the movie, uh, you know, to, yes. to, to be an actor and he's funny. He's, he's great. He's funnier than any of us. Yeah. Swear to God, there's all mm -hmm. comedians in the movie. Every time you do a scene, everybody walk away and go, Shaq is funnier than me. I, I, he's like the, the nicest, fun, greatest guy, and we hung out with the Shack, and we and we all play basketball. A lot of us. Uh, oh, the Shaq. So you're a fanatic for basketball. Yes, you play it all yes, the time. All the time, and and uh, the Shack's there, so we're like, let's let's play ball See, with Shaq. So Shaq. We play ball with Shaq, full court, running up and down. Shaq is swatting shots in our face, and we're like, yes, so happy, so happy to get. It's an honor to be uh, uh, rejected by Shaq. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, then comes this thing. So we play basketball. We got to get back to the movie set. Shaq has to take a shower. So everyone's like, all right, we'll see you later, Shaq. In my head, I'm like, I got to see Shaq's penis. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just, it just <laughs> not, <laughs> I, I can't, can't pass up that opportunity. I've you been just, to, I mean, for historical reasons. Yeah, it's not, not a gay thing. It's just like, got to see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Grand Canyon, and you gotta see it. You gotta see it. You can't live and not see it. I get this completely. Thank you. So my plan was to kind of, I hear the shower go on in the back, and I said, all right, I'm just gonna. In the back of what? In the Are locker in room. His, oh, I thought you're like in his trailer or something. No. <laughs> There's a gym. We oh, right. all, right, all right, all right. So it's like at a high school, and he's showering away, just not, you know, being the shack down there in the showers. Everyone else left. I'm like, all right, let me see that thing. So. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> I go back there. I hear the shower. I start, I kind of turn around backwards and walk backwards a little. Like Walking gonna, backwards because well, you want to look kind of. Like I was going to trick him. Like I yeah. just walked backwards and I saw it, and I was like, hey, what's up? And I, but no. I, I'm walking backwards, Bro. doing my routine, getting closer to the shower, and then I turn around and I go, all right, I'm going to see Shaq's thing right now. His bodyguard is there. Uh -huh. And his bodyguard <laughs> is just so strong and big and like this thick neck, bald head, and this one eye is looking at me with this one eye. eye. <laughs> so I said, <clears throat> sorry, I was just trying to see Shaq's penis. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I apologize and I'm out of here. Uh -huh. Please don't tell Shaq okay. this happened. So I see Shaq later on the set, and I was like, I guarantee that guy ratted me out. So I said, Shaq, uh, sorry about that before with, the, with your security guard. And he goes, I don't got a security guard. That was my dick. <laughs> <laughs> We, my two daughters are little and they fall asleep in the bed with me and my wife a lot. And so they're always there and they're the best and I love them more than anything. They snuggle with you and all that stuff. But, you know, I am a grown man. I do like to have sex. And so I, <laughs> I mean. Uh, well, this is the place to call attention to that, right here. He's a grown man, he likes to have sex. No, I mean, all right. So, so anyways, I'm li lying in bed with, with the wife and the two kids are sleeping <laughs> next wife. to us. The wife, I call it. <laughs> and so we're laying there and we're both up and the two kids are sleeping. And I was like, hey, you know, we could, let's pull this. Can we do this here? And she's like, no, you don't do that with your kids in the bed. I was like, I, I, I don't move that much. I'm not going to wait. You know? <laughs> but, but I didn't, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not a flexible guy. So anyway she says no we're not doing that you can get arrested or whatever so i say all right so, so anyway so i say can we go down the hall they're not using their bed you get arrested <laughs> oh man oh hey bro i see why everybody like him right so <laughs> why not now that makes well, perfect sense thank you david i knew you'd back me yeah. up so uh <laughs> So anyways, we get into my littlest kid's bed and flip the lights off and I went at it pretty good and I, 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 I did some serious da damage in there and uh, a after the fact, I said, wasn't that great? Wasn't that worth it? And she goes, what, watching you bang Elmo? Because <laughs> it wasn't her. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, 
But I told I told my wife I really did think it was you, and I did a great job. Uh-huh. And then I I finished the deal because it was the first time I ever heard you say la 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 la. Uh-huh. <laughs> Enough of that, huh? I heard you were talking about how Rickles, what he said about when he saw me. Yeah, like, well, we were Rickles, well, you guys were here together one night, yeah. and Rickles saw, spotted you, and there was a bunch of people around, and yeah. Rickles yelled, hey, uh, let's take up a collection and buy Adam a suit. That's right, that's right. <laughs> man. Is uh, this what you got? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the respect for the man. No, he, he, he was just the greatest guy. I do, I, I mean, you really got to be tight with him. I, I had, like, hit and run, and I mean, I worshipped the guy, too, because my father worshipped him. Anybody, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, like, that, that's how it goes. Your dad loves somebody, you love somebody. So, anyways, I, I was at dinner with Steve Buscemi. Mm-hmm. This is, like... 25 years ago or something, we were sitting at Dan Tanner's and eating, and then Rickles came. Hey, Dan Tanner's? Hey, the filet mignon with the, with the mashed potatoes and spinach? Yes, yeah, sir. Over to us, and we're like, oh my God, this is, this is happening right now. And he says to Buscemi, something like, uh, I, I, maybe 23. What? Or them, or them tavern burgers? Boy, stop playing. Every years ago, he says something about, saw your movie, uh, Mr. Pink, more like Mr. Stink, or something like that, and Boucher was like, ah, laughing. And then he laughs and he goes, ooh, maybe get some braces. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then he sees me and he goes, ooh, and you. <laughs> and I go, hey, how you doing? And he's like, I think it was Happy Gilmore or something. He goes, saw Happy Gilmore, watch the whole thing. Wow, amazing how no talent can get you a movie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes! Boy, let me on each other top, huh? Whoa, 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 you trying to, try to get me messed up. Right, My you... father would always tell me, be that you, you look horrible. Please, please shave your head. And I'd be like, what is this guy talking about? Yeah. I look phenomenal. So, David, this is a true story. The reason it's funny is because it's a true story. <laughs> but the, uh, so, so, okay, so I, 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 that was in the, you know, the uh, early 80s, and I see, I'm watching MTV a lot, and all these guys, these cool guys on MTV have the long straight hair. Oh, yeah. A, a, a David Lee Roth, Eddie Van Halen kind of stuff, you know, Rick Springfield, I kind of... Down to the belt, really. Yeah. yeah. And they look smooth, and I wanted that. My hair was very afro-y. The longer it would get, the crazier... Juan Epstein look it would have, you know, so, <laughs> so, so I went to a uh, drugstore and I saw uh, Relaxer, that there's Relaxer for your hair, yeah. and I was, I was like seven, 17 and, you know, I, I, was, uh, I, I bought it and I was like, you know, the girls will like me with straight hair, I just know it, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I did, I got the Relaxer in my hair, I put it, I didn't even read it, I was just like, I'll put that in there, and my head just started burning. Uh-huh. And uh, I just go, all right, let me get through this burn. It's going to be worth it. And, <laughs> and, um, and so, thank you. I do that. I burn it. And I swear to God, my hair at the, when I got done with it, I, it was like Crystal Gale. Like it was, <laughs> it was lower, lower, it was touching my, my backside and it was very long and straight and I was like thinking I look cool and I went to a high, high school basketball game to, to show all the chicks like, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> check, check it out, man. I, so I get there and I go in the bleachers and all these cute girls are there and I'm like, you know, doing this so I was swinging it around. <laughs> and, uh, and, um, then- the fact that you uh, successfully relax his head up, that's crazy. And somebody says, what the hell happened yeah. to your hair? And I was like, I combed it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the answer, I just combed it. How long does something like that last? It did not last long. I swear to God, by the end of the game, because it was a hot gym, yeah. it started coming back up. <laughs> My, my kids had, they were lucky enough to go to South Africa and Hawaii, and they always talk about, we got to get out of L.A., Daddy. We got to go to <laughs> South Africa or Hawaii. But anyways, this, this just happened in Hawaii, Jimmy. So my, my, uh, we're in Oahu, we're having a great time. I always got to force my kids to get out of the pool and go to the, to the beach. I'm like, let's go to the beach. If you got a pool at home, come on, let's get in the uh, Hawaiian water. 
So, oh, I don't want to, it's rough, the water's rough. I said, it's fine, blah, blah, blah. I buy them two tubes that they can sit in. I, I, I'm like, just sit in the tubes. But, you know, <laughs> do, that, do that. So my, my big one is sitting, my 10-year-old, she's sitting in the tube, and I'm watching, and I'm videoing her. And I'm, why is I'm videoing? I'm like, this looks like a big wave coming. <laughs> and, and, and I'm like, oh God, no. And she gets, she's perfectly facing the wave, gets hit, does a flip, lands on her feet, but I can see she shook up. Wow, she on shook her feet. Up, lands on her feet. Like, we would not expect that to happen. <laughs> no. But she lands on her feet. I'm videoing, and I, did, and I go, I, I better say something quick. I go, I got that on video. <laughs> and so, and like, she, she was so happy. Oh, she was. She gets tricked into like, oh yeah, that was supposed to happen. I go, come here, look at that. Yeah, I'll show you. And she's like, yeah, I landed on my feet. I'm like, that's right, you did. You're the greatest. You're a gymnast. Blah blah blah. No crying. Then literally a minute later, my other one. Same position, I see the wave coming, I'm just watching, <laughs> boom, flip. She looks ter terrified, looks back at me. Did you get that? I, like, I, I didn't, I didn't get that. <laughs> I know you've talked about your dad. Yeah. Uh, poor fellow died way early. Yes, uh, he did. And, and uh, you, but your grandmother, or I'm sorry, your mother is still alive yeah, and your yeah, uncle's yeah. Moms still are around. Yeah, yeah. So what, what is the perspective? Your childhood versus the, your kid's well, childhood. My, my childhood, like, like this, I just shot this movie, Just Go With It. We shot it in Hawaii. We shot it at a hotel. Mm -hmm. So we kind of had the run of this beautiful hotel for like seven, eight weeks. That's great. My kids ran around the hotel. They owned the joint. You know, they got to do anything with the room service and the water slides and they get to cut the lines and all this crap. So you're wealthy. Back to that, yeah. <laughs> but growing up, you know, the closest I came to that was my father washed my ass at a Howard Johnson's bathroom one time. Just in the sink. I remember him kind of holding me and yeah. shaking me and throwing the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different life again. Yeah. Was it a different era? Hey, but that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the links in the description. I'm Yardi, I'm out. All praise to the most high.